Hi, my name is Christine and I am a current student at Therapedia. Today I'm going to talk to you about what it means when a student is working with your child. First, all students are required to follow HIPAA and clinic guidelines for confidentiality and safety, the same that is expected of all staff members. Students at Therapedia are always directly supervised by at least one staff member who is responsible for your child's care. Therapedia limits the student to staff ratio to ensure that your child and the student receive the attention they deserve while preventing an unnecessary number of individuals in the clinic. There are three different kinds of students. Most therapy programs require observation hours prior to applying to their program. The number of error hours vary, but these potential students watch treatment sessions and may help the clinic with simple tasks such as cleaning, getting items, or participating in a game with your child. Observational students determine if the field is something that they are interested in pursuing. If they end up in a therapy program, these observations give the students something to recall during school and help them relate learning to practice. Level 1 students are somewhat similar to observational students. They are currently in a therapy program and typically observe for 40 to 80 hours in a semester. These students can now view the client with a different mindset and start to incorporate theory and practice together. Staff may allow the students to participate in simple clinical skills such as making suggestions for activities, reporting observations to the staff member, and practice writing a treatment note. Often, schools will assign additional homework assignments related to the children and treatments they observe or participate in. Level 2 students have completed the classroom and textbook portion of their education and will generally spend months at a time in one clinic or setting. These students complete several rotations in different treatment programs with the goal of establishing competency that is expected as an entry-level practitioner. Level 2 students gradually build into managing a full caseload of clients. The staff member gauges the student's ability to determine the speed of this progression and how much additional verbal or physical assistance the student will need with the client or child. In addition to having different fieldwork levels, students can become different levels of therapy practitioners. Assistants are required to complete a minimum of an associate's level program. Their primary role is to provide treatment to your child under the supervision of a therapist. Depending on the position and clinic, the assistant may also help with the evaluation and plan of care process. Therapists currently require a graduate level education to enter the field and are ultimately responsible for the overall care of your child. In addition to providing treatment, therapists perform evaluations and determine the individualized plan of care. It is important to note that assistants and therapists work collaboratively and that neither one is better or more important than the other. Occasionally, students such as myself might be part of a bridge program where they work in the field for many years as an assistant and then decide to further their education and become therapists. So why would the clinic or staff member want to have a student? And how does that benefit you and your child? First, every therapy practitioner has been a student and knows what it is like to have a good or bad fieldwork experience. Giving back to the profession that helped you earn your degree is not only right, but it gives the staff member the ability to provide an even better fieldwork experience than they might have received. Fieldwork is where individuals can learn through success and failure to personally and professionally grow. Therapedia prides itself on providing quality learning opportunities to future professionals. When students leave here, they not only represent the clinic, but the field as well. Whether students stay to work here or not, it is ethically important that they are able to demonstrate the ability to provide quality care to each and every client they encounter. Oh, and students talk to each other and potential clients, so you want them to say positive things about your clinic. Staff members know through previous education and experience what tends to work well and what does not. Over the years, research changes and new techniques come in and out of preferred treatment options. Because there is so much information over each profession available, it can be hard to keep up on every aspect of patient care. When students come in, they have the most current and up-to-date information. Discussions between students and staff can lead to an increase in more evidence-based practice that meets current trends. As a therapy staff member, it can become easy to automatically know how to treat a client. 
Having students ask questions makes the therapist stop and think about the minute aspects and reinforces why they chose a particular approach. Staff members say that students come in with a new and exciting energy level. They are almost like a child seeing something for the first time and how it works. This energy level can be infectious to the clinic and reduce the possibility of burnout. A student might ask a therapist why approach was used and be given an answer. Additionally, the student might be directed to find more information on the subject, as well as current research to support or disprove its effectiveness. This provides a learning opportunity to the student while reinforcing the therapist to continue the approach, or even changing it if the current evidence says otherwise. Having a student and therapist work with your child does not slow down your child's progress. Students provide additional support during treatment, such as helping work on social skills with newer individuals, offering physical assistance to the child while the therapist works on other skills, or giving the therapist a chance to observe areas of concern that they normally don't see when they run a treatment session. For example, a child that is impulsive will now have an extra set of hands to keep him or her safe. Another example is a child performs a tabletop task where the therapist is generally focused on the task at hand, but with a student doing treatment, the therapist can now observe a tendency of the child to constantly move their feet. Even something like a student doing a new treatment session can lead to changes in a treatment plan, such as trying a shaving cream activity and then finding out the child has a hard time touching new textures or recognizing that they didn't clean up an entire area when they were done. It can be hard for therapists to find time to complete additional research or make a project. It is not uncommon and sometimes required for a student to create a new activity, parent handout, or device that will help increase your child's performance. Level 2 students are also required to provide an in-service presentation to staff members at the clinic to share information on a topic or device. The clinic appreciates the additional resources that the students can offer and may even change their policies or treatments to remain up to date. I hope that you have found this video informative and can now understand why students are a valuable part of Therapedia. As a current practitioner and student, I can say that Therapedia is one of the best places you could send your child, work as a staff member, or learn as a student.